possibly be any worse than yesterday. Mm, not a chance. <sighs> Back, I'd say that things are definitely looking up. They most certainly are. What a way to start the day. Look at this. The beloved landmark is being demolished without a single public hearing. The beloved landmark. This building, what, what is there to save? There's, it's a, it's a water-damaged, asbestos-contaminated hulk. Mickey, how the hell did Holly get hold of this? Look, that doesn't matter. What matters now is spin control. Oh, you think? This is great. I can just see the city council and the zoning board crumbling under the weight of public opinion and rescinding approval. Okay. We have to move on this fast. We're gonna move on it fast. One good thing, at least my father and I went over the revised bid from Lewis, and I think it's workable, so we should be able to close the deal today. Now, why did the Lewis brothers bid at all? Spalding um, seems to be the dirtiest nine-letter word they know. Well, it was, you know, the original bid was at the Macedonia Corp, but uh, my father told me that it's the revised bid was not the Lewis's idea. It's apparently Olivia Spencer, their new partner, who's making it go. No, 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 come on, Alice. No, I need a second. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Hello. Hi, Olivia, it's Philip Spaulding. Hope I'm not calling you too early. Not if it's good news. Okay, well then I guess I'm right on time. Uh, my father and I have discussed the revised bid and we both feel that it's workable, so we accept. As is? Yeah, as is. I don't see any reason to haggle over a few dollars. I think the important thing is to get the project off the ground. Uh, actually, mindful of that, uh, why don't we sign the contracts tonight and do a joint press conference? Oh, that's great. Do it black tie, dinner afterwards, do the whole deal. How's that sound? Uh, it sounds fine to me, but let me, uh, let me get back to you. Well, what does that mean? Josh has signed off on this deal, hasn't he? He will. Oh. Okay, so where were we? Well, you were on the phone. Uh-huh. With? Uh, I'll tell you about that later. It was business. And right now, my business is pleasure. <laughs> so? 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 Hello? The phone. Yes. Call. Um, hmm. Okay, well, you remember how you felt after Spalding rejected our bid yesterday? You're kidding, right? Uh, yeah, see, that's what I mean. You were, you were very disappointed, yes. and um, I felt awful for you, so I... I went to Allen, and I renegotiated our deal. You what? Well, we were under bid on demolition and site clearance, amazingly under bid, so I, I just used a little um, a logic on Allen and got him to divide the contract. I see. Yeah. He was very reasonable, Josh. The lowball bidders get demolition, Lewis gets construction, at our bid price, I might add. Which brings me to the phone call. That was Philip. He'd like to sign the contract wait, today. Wait, 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 Now, slow down. The, our bid for the demolition was down to the bare bones. That building has asbestos in it, up the yin-yang. Now, who else is going to take it out for that price? Well, who cares, honestly? I mean, come on. It's dirty, dangerous, boring work. Let somebody else deal with it. Our focus should be on... On creation, you know, uh, especially for a, a new landmark in downtown Springfield, huh? Our focus. Yes, this company's focus. This is a great opportunity for us, Josh. And if I do say so myself, a really terrific deal, don't mm. you think? Oh, yeah, I think it's a terrific deal, except for one thing is missing. Me. When it was put together. You know what, you're right. Today is beginning to feel like yesterday. Yes, it is. You know, I thought that this would make you happy. You went behind my back and struck a deal with the Spaldings, of all people. No, I'm not happy. Well, that's exactly why I, I did it, Josh, because I don't have the history that you have with Philip or Allen. No one finished business to, to, to muck up the new business. You know, I was able to go to them as a professional and negotiate a really excellent deal for us. 
And correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that what a partner in this company is supposed to do, show some initiative? I'm not questioning your instincts, Olivia. No, you're Olivia. just questioning my actions. You had no right to do this on your own. Look, I I'm not some uh, conference room basket case here. I can make my own decisions. Oh, then fine. Go ahead and make them. Just, just scotch the whole deal if you want to. Nothing's been signed yet. Go ahead, Josh. You're the man. Are you ever... Excuse me? I was trying to give this company the shot in the arm that it so desperately needs, and I did. And I wonder if that's not the problem here. That because I'm a female partner, my ability is a threat. Olivia. Josh, come on. If I were a guy <laughs> and I showed up with this deal, you would probably, you'd probably be so happy you didn't have to sweat the details. You know, you could just sign off on and consider yourself this, this delegator of rare genius and sit back and look, count hey, your money. Look, but... spare me this dissertation, please, on, on, on this, this female thing, because I got an earful of that already from Reva's lawyer at the police station the other day. Yeah, well, if the shoe fits... The shoe does not fit. This is not a female issue. This is a, a, a communication in oh, business bleh. issue. You know what, then? Fine. <laughs> Here, let's see you communicate. Go ahead, call no, Phil. Come on. Tell him the deal the is kaput because Just I didn't have the authority me, to make it. Give me the phone. No, and you guys have a lot of bad blood anyway. I'll dial Just the number give me for the you, phone. Josh. Do you just... Do you just show up... Oh. Every man you work and or sleep with? Yes, when necessary. You're right, Olivia. And you love hearing that, don't you? Yeah. You're right. We need the job. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try not to gloat. I would appreciate that. And, and I'll admit that there is some satisfaction for me in knowing that Philip Spaulding's money will be helping to get our new company off the ground. Bodes well, don't you think? Yeah. And, and, and I can't make any guarantees, but I, I think Philip and I will be able to find a way to uh, not kill each other. Okay? Gee. <laughs>